namo tansa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhansa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhansa homage to the exalted one the worthy one the supremely enlightened one tri refuge tisarana bundhang saranang gachami dhammang saranang gachami sanghang saranang gachami i go to the buddha for refuge i go to the dhamma for refuge i go to the sangha for refuge dote anti bandhang saranang gachami dote anti dhammang saranang gachami dote anti sanghang saranang gachami a second time i go to the buddha for refuge a second time i go to the dhamma for refuge a second time i go to the sangha for refuge tathe anti bandhang saranang gachami tathe ante dhammang saranang gachami tathe ante sanghang saranang gachami at that time i go to the buddha for refuge at that time i go to the dhamma for refuge at that time i go to the sangha for refuge five precepts panch sila panati pata veramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the training to to abstain from taking life. Adena dana vera mani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the training to to abstain from stealing. kami sumicha chara veramani sikha padang samadhyami i undertake the training to abstain from sexual misconduct musavada veramani sikha padam samadhyami i undertake the training to to abstain from false speech surame raya majja pamadattana veramani sikha padam samadhyami i undertake the training to abstain from intoxicating drinks and drugs causing heedlessness buddha vandana homage to the supreme buddha ete peso bhagava arahang samma sambuddho vinja charana sampanno sugato lok vidu anantaro purisadam sarati santa deva manusanam 
बुंदो भगवती सुप्रीमली एनलाइटन एंड आउट विद नॉलेज एंड कंडक्ट वेल गोन नॉर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन कंपेरेबल ट्रेनर ऑफ पर्सन टू बी टेम्ड सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ डेट इज एंड मेन एनलाइटन एंड एक्सोल्टेड धम्म वंदना होमेश टू द टीचिंग्स ऑफ द बुद्ध साकातो भगवता धम्मो संदिठे को अकालिको एहि पंस को ओपनाई को पंचन्तं वेदे तम्बो vinyohiti the dhamma is well expounded by the blessed one directly visible immediately affect you call in one to come and see lead in onwards and to be personally realized by the wise sangha vandana homage to the noble disciples of the buddha सुपाठे पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो पूजो पाठे पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो न्याय पाठे पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो सामीचे पाठे पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो यदे दंचारे पुरे स युगा अट्ट पुरे स पुंगला एह स भगवतो सावक संगो आहो नैयो पाहो नैयो दक्षिणयो अंजलि खरनीयो अनंतरं पुण्यक्षेत्रं लोकं साति द ऑर्डर ऑफ द ब्लेसेड वंस डिसिपल्स इज प्रैक्टिसिंग वेल द ऑर्डर ऑफ द ब्लेसेड वंस डिसिपल्स इज प्रैक्टिसिंग राइटली The order of the blessed ones, disciples, is practicing correctly. The order of the blessed ones, disciples, is practicing perfectly. The four pairs of persons, the eight kind of individuals. The order of the blessed ones, disciples, is worthy of offerings and hospitality, worthy of gifts and salutation, the supreme field of merits for the world. स्तूप वंदना हमेश टू द स्तूप वंदा चेते शारीरिक धातु महाबोधि बुंदरूप सकल सदा Homage to the Buddha Sri Lakshmi, the great Bodhi tree, and all the shrines in this world. Aspiration, Prarthana. Imina punya kamene mami bal samagamun satang samagamuhotun. By the power of all these meritorious and wholesome activities that I acquired here, may I have only virtuous, noble friends until I attain the supreme bliss of nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Dear friends in the Dhamma, 
you are gathering here for the Tuesday Dhamma and Meditation class. In this class, we are listening to Buddha's message and also we practice meditation and Dhamma. When we meditate, we cultivate our mind, we develop our mind, we purify our mind. When we practice meditation, in one side, we purify our mind from negative thoughts. On the other hand, we develop positive thoughts in our mind, such as Sadha, confidence, very effort, sati mindfulness, concentration, wisdom, so on. These are the positive thoughts we develop when we practice meditation. According to Buddhism, there are three meritorious deeds we practice for inner peace. They are Dana, generosity, sailor, virtue, and meditation, mental culture. By practicing these activities, we purify our mind from negative thoughts. Why do we need to overcome negative thoughts from our mind? Whenever our mind is polluted with negative thoughts, actually we have no real happiness even though we are well educated, even though we are very rich, even though our complexion is very beautiful, everything that we earn is useless whenever we are with negative thoughts. That is why Buddhism always explains the way how we overcome negative thoughts from our mind. The Buddha says, Santuti Paramandanam. Happiness or contentment is the highest treasure. If we have contentment, happiness, or satisfaction, actually we are successful. For the real contentment, happiness, we have to overcome negative thoughts and we have to practice positive thoughts in our mind. That is the path that the Blessed One explained when we practice three meritorious deeds. Especially when we practice meditation, we directly focus on reducing negative thoughts from our mind. There are three unwholesome mental states that disturb our peace of mind. Greed, hate, and ignorance. These are the negative thoughts which steal our inner peace. We don't give chance to anyone to steal our inner peace. For that, we should make an unshakable mind that no one can disturb. When Buddha was alive, one day a Brahmin named Jata came to the Buddha and asked a question. He asked some questions explaining the stanza or verse. He says, Anto Jata Bahi Jata Jata Jatita Paja. People in the world, they have problems inside and outside. He says, hmm? a tangle inside, a tangle outside. These people are tangled in tangles. Hmm? I ask you that Gautama, who can untangle this tangle? He says that hmm? in this world, people have many problems within their life and outside. He asks that hmm, how people can overcome these problems. 
yeah, would uh, explain the pattern, say in uh, stanza. With the season, sile pati tahay naro sa panyo kitang panyan ke bahayam. Atapi nipako biko soiman vijate jatam. A wise person founded in virtue developing the mind and wisdom, a keen and alert mendicant, he can untangle this tangle. Buddha says, in short, the path, how we overcome suffering. Here, the Supreme Buddha says, if a person can practice Chitta Bhavana and Panya Bhavana, concentration and insight meditation, having moral conduct, virtue, he is able to overcome this tangle. Next, Buddha says, Yesang Ragoche Dosoche Avijaja Virajita Ki Nasava Aranto Tesang Vijitita Jata. The Buddha says, Those whose greed, hate, and delusion have faded away, the perfected one with defilements ended. He has untangled the tangle. If a person can eradicate greed, hate, and ignorance completely, is the person who can untangle this tangle. Here, it is very clear the path and the problem. The foundation of the issue of all the problems that we face in our day-to-day -day life is that um, defilement, so unwholesome mental roots that disturb our peace of mind. They are greed or craving, hate or anger, and ignorance or delusion. These are the negativities that disturb our peace of mind. If a person can eradicate these negative thoughts completely, he is able to overcome tangles from his life. When we see this discourse, which is Jatha Sutta, the discourse of Jatha, Buddha explained the pattern and also Buddha explained the reasons, the causes of suffering or problems or tangles. When we practice this pattern, first of all, we should have clear understanding what we practice, where we are going to. Buddha explained how our life occurs. Our entire life is that our six senses and six external objects. We see the world, we experience the world through our six senses. We see something, we hear something, we taste something, we smell something, we touch something, we remember something. We can contact the physical world, the material world, for the persons at the moment. But very important thing, when we recognize it, we are unable to recognize anything through five consciousnesses, such as eye consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, so on. We always recognize something through our mind consciousness. When we understand something through our mind consciousness, the physical world has ceased. This is the nature of our life. Whenever we are ignorant about this situation, when we see something, when we hear something, when we smell something, when we taste something, we immediately 
depend on outside. Our mind is fixed in outside world. Whenever we depend on outside, it means outside world can control us. We are controlled by outside. Whenever we are depending on outside with ignorance. This is the nature of our life. Whenever we are ignorant, avidya pakya sankhara, with the arising of ignorance, mental formations arise. Sankhara pakya vijnana, with the arising of mental formations, consciousness arises. So on, we go to jati pakya jaramarana. With the arising of birth, decay, sorrow, death, lamentation, they arise. This is the nature of the arising of the world. And also, whenever we are wise and mindful, as soon as we see something, we smell something, we taste something, we touch something, we smell something, we remember something. If you are mindful and wise that mm, the form, the material world has already ceased, I recognize everything through my mind consciousness. At the moment, we don't depend on outside. We completely depend on inside. It means inside meditation. Vipassana Bhavana. Whenever we are ignorant, Mare or devil can control us. Then he can see us. Whenever we are ignorant, Mare can see us. The devil can see us. Whenever we are wise and mindful, Mara is unable to see us. We can see the Mara, but the Mara can see us whenever we are mindful and wise. This is the vision. First of all, we should have this vision. Vision means right understanding, samadhiti, or correct vision. We should have clear understanding how suffering arises and also how suffering ceases. Whenever we are ignorant and unmindful, we are controlled by outside, we are suffering when outside world changes. Whenever we are mindful and wise, we are not controlled by outside since when outside world changes, we don't worry. Since we completely depend on inside our spiritual life. With this understanding, we find the path. The Supreme Buddha explains the path here in short. Sile paditthai narosapanyo chittang panyanche bhavyam. Atapi nipako bhikkhu soiman vijate jatam. A wise person founded in virtue, developing the mind and wisdom. A keen and alert mendicant, he can untangle the tangle. If a person can practice three disciplines, virtue, sila, Samadhi concentration and Panya wisdom is able to overcome the tangles. Buddha explained the practice, the path that we have to practice to overcome suffering in short. Sila Samadhi Panya. Sila means discipline in our speech and behavior. Samadhi or Samadhi means tranquility or concentration meditation. And Panya Bhavana 
ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅವಿಪಾಸನಾ ಭಾವನಾ ವಿತ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ here the first step of liberation is that mm, seal or virtue what is the seal seal means the discipline in our speech and behavior especially practice in five precepts abstaining from taking life abstaining from stealing abstaining from sexual misconduct false speech and intoxicating drinks and drugs if we can practice these five precepts it means we have no regrets in our life and also we are proud of and we are confident in our speech and behavior we have no problems as a result of practicing five precepts we have no fear no doubt no regrets in our lives whenever we practice these five things five precepts that is a real protection in our life for the session if a person can practice this switch you or seal five precepts it gives the fearlessness to the world that is very important having this switch you or seal we practice mm, samatha and vipassana tranquility and insight meditation we keep our mind in the present moment we concentrate our mind in the present moment and also we purify our mind from hindrances mm, such as mm, kama chand sensual pleasure vyapad ill will so on when we concentrate our mind in the present moment practicing a tranquil meditation technique we are able to keep our mind in the present moment for a long time then our mind is so pure and calm with this concentrated mind we are able to reflect on impermanence or vipassana bhavana insight meditation we reflect on three characteristics anicca impermanence dukkha dissatisfactoriness and anatta selflessness this is the path that the worthy one explained for getting rid of suffering for getting rid of tangles in short would explain the path dear friends in dhamma we are so fortunate we know that mm, how suffering arises and also we know the path that leads to getting rid of suffering as the result of listening to buddha's message we know very well how suffering arises and how suffering ceases now we are going to practice these three disciplines virtue concentration and wisdom first of all you have so five precepts now we are going to contemplate on the virtue or seal that you have so it is a meditation technique and also we practice loving kindness meditation as a concentration meditation technique the buddha explained 40 meditation techniques that helps us to concentrate our mind and also among them metta bhavana or loving kindness meditation is very very important when mind gains concentration we reflect on impermanence vipassana bhavana anicca sanya okay please get ready for our regular meditation session
relax your body please straight your body and keep your right hand on the left hand please close your eyes gently Be aware of your body posture that you are sitting here. From your legs to head and from your head to legs. Please be aware of the present moment and keep your attention around the nose or upper lip with satin emit the focus of mindfulness. With the Satya Nimitta in the present moment, I'm gonna contemplate on virtue or seal I practice in my day-to-day -day life. I discipline my speech and behavior. When I speak something, I think again and again whether it is correct. When I do something physically, I think it again and again whether it is correct. Especially, I practice five pieces. I spend a virtuous life according to what the Buddha explained. I abstain from taking life, abstain from stealing, abstain from sexual misconduct, abstain from false speech, abstain from intoxicating drinks and drugs. I always practice these five precepts as virtue explained by the Blessed One. I contemplate on my virtuous life 
advice by the supreme buddha I keep my mind in the present moment with the awareness of my virtuous life, my spiritual life. I am contemplating on my virtuous life, spiritual life. I am so happy when I contemplate on my virtuous life that I spend a spiritual life. I speak everything, I act everything mindfully and consciously. Since I know very well the importance of spending a virtuous life. I don't do any slight wrong conduct which is concerned by the vice.
my mind becomes calm when I contemplate on my virtuous life. My mind is so pure and calm with contemplating on virtue or my spiritual life. I completely keep my attention around the nose of Apalip in the present moment, contemplating on my virtuous life. Next, I am going to practice a concentration meditation technique. Metta Bhavana, loving kindness meditation for the concentration of my mind. I continue the Satinimitta 
focus of mindfulness. I keep my full attention around the nose of a lip in the present moment. Being mindful in the present moment, I am going to practice loving kindness thoughts. May all beings at this temple be well, happy, and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in this city be well, happy, and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the east direction be well, happy, and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the south direction be well, happy, and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation.
may all beings in the west direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the north direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the down direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the upper direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain their final bliss of liberation. May all beings in six directions in the world be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to them. May no problems come to them. May no difficulties come to them. May they are all wishes meet with success. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. I spread loving kindness thoughts to everyone those who are in this world. I see the all over the world like my family, like my children. I bless them. 
I wish their success always. May all beings be well, happy and peaceful. My mind is so pure and calm with the thoughts of loving kindness. I am friendly with everyone, those who are in this world. My mind gains concentration with the thoughts of loving kindness meditation. My mind is so pure and calm. My mind is liberated from greed and anger. My mind is filled with the thoughts of loving kindness and generosity. My mind is so generous and compassionate. May all beings be well happy and peaceful. May all beings be well, happy and peaceful. Vetntva sausate hemakal niduki Padntva sepetate Sama give Muniki Vetntua Sausate Hemakal Niduki 
ಪಂಥಪತಟ ಸಮಗಿವ ಮುನಿ ಸೌಸತ ಹೇಮ ಕಾಲ ನಿಧುಕಿ ಪಂಥಪತಟ ಸಮಗಿವ ಮುನಿ next we are going to practice insight meditation or vipassana bhavana here we reflect on three characteristics anicca dukkha and anatta anicca means impermanence dukkha unsatisfactoriness and anatta selflessness my entire life is that um, six um, internal senses so spheres and six external objects whenever i see something i hear something i taste something i touch something i smell something immediately five aggregates arise five aggregates means rupa form vedana feeling or sensation sanya perception sankhara mental formations and vijnana consciousness whenever i see something i hear something i taste something i touch something i smell something these five aggregates arise together and they immediately cease together my entire life is the present moment in the present moment these five aggregates every moment arise and cease except arising and ceasing of five aggregates i have nothing in my life when i contact something there are five aggregates but when i reflect on it the first experience the first five aggregates have ceased i recognize something through four aggregates after form has ceased my entire life is that four aggregates vedana sanya sankhara vijnana if you are able to keep our attention in this reality with mindfulness and wisdom we can overcome all the tangles problems sufferings in our life for that mindfulness is the foundation with the foundation of mindfulness if you are able to contemplate on this reality at the moment we can release from the outside material world and also we can release from inside world mentality or mental objects consciousness and mind objects we see only thing which happens in our life is that um, impermanence arising and ceasing of five aggregates everything everything means six internal senses six external objects for five aggregates 
they arise and cease every moment. Ahotva sambutang utvana bhavisati. Not being occurred comes to occurrence. Being occurred will not go to occurrence. This is the nature of my entire life. Whenever I reflect on this reality, I release from outside material world and also I release from inside the world too. That is why this Sutta, Jata Sutta explains Yatta Namanja Rupanja Asi Sangapurujati Patigang Rupa Sanyanja Ette Sachidate Jatam. And we are Mentality and corporeality cease with nothing left over, as well as infringement and perceptions of form. It's there that the problem is cut or tangle is cut. Wherever mentality and corporeality cease remaining nothing. If you don't take anything as permanent as me, as my, as myself, it means we don't depend on anything or anyone, even inside or outside. This is the way how we liberate from suffering or tangle. For that, we trained our mind at this moment for a few minutes. Please be aware of the present moment with the Sati Nimitta focus of mindfulness. I keep my full attention around the nose so I believe in the present moment with mindfulness. My entire life is the present moment, present thought. That present thought consists of other four aggregates. Vedana feeling, Sanya perception, Sankahara mental formations, and form, Rupa. These five aggregates are my life. Every moment they arise together with the arising of causes and they immediately cease with the cessation of causes. Arising, ceasing, 
arise in cease in arise in cease in Every moment, five aggregates arise and cease. These five aggregates are impermanent. They are dissatisfactory. They are selfless. They are not me. They are not mine. They are not myself. They arise when conditions arise and they cease when conditions cease. Arise in cease in arise in cease in whenever I reflect on the impermanence of these five aggregates, my mind 
is released from outside material world and also my mind liberates from inside too. My mind is not fixed anything or anyone outside or even inside. When my mind is not fixed anything or anyone inside or outside, I am free from ignorance, hate, and greed. My mind is free from greed, anger, and ignorance. This is the freedom, liberation, emancipation, enlightenment that I can gain throughout practicing the Dhamma explained by the Supreme Buddha. Sambhe Sankara Anijjati Yada Panyaya Pansati Atanimbindati Dukhe Esa Mango Visundhya all conditioned things are impermanent. He who sees this reality with wisdom overcomes suffering. This is the path to purity. Sambhe Sankara Dunkati Yada Panya Pansati Atanin Bindati Dunke Ese Mango Visundia. All conditioned things are dissatisfactory. He who sees this reality with wisdom overcome suffering. This is the path to purity. Sambhe Dhamma Anantati Yada Panyaya Pansati Atanim Bindati Dukhe Ese Mango Visundhya. All phenomena are selfless. He who sees this reality with wisdom overcomes suffering. This is the path to purity. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Friends in the Dhamma, you're listening to Buddha's message and also you practice meditation. Here, especially, we practice three disciplines. Sila, Virtue, Samadhi, Concentration, and Panya Wisdom. These are the things that Buddha has explained for getting rid of suffering. For the cessation of suffering, with the understanding of the Noble Eightfold Path, we should practice these three things for our inner peace. Our real success depends on our happiness. 
our happiness depends on the duration of practicing these three disciplines as much as we can. For that, we have to spend our time for this practice, virtue, consideration, and wisdom. Day by day, we should try to increase the duration of time that we practice these three things in our life. This is the real success, real investment that we can do in our day to day life with the understanding of the Dhamma, which explained the Supreme Buddha. Dear friends in Dhamma, at this moment you practice Dhamma by the power of this spirituality. May your departed relatives and devas also receive this merit and spirituality. May they receive blissful life and finally may they also attain the final bliss of liberation with that intention, let's say, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. By the power of all these spiritual activities that you accrued throughout this whole session, may you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no problems come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May you all righteous wishes meet your success. Finally, may all of us attain the final bliss of liberation. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Dukkham Pantha Chanid Dukkham Bayam Pantha Chanid Bayam Sokham Pantha Chanid Sokham Kuntu Sande Pipanino May all beings be well, happy and peaceful. May the triple gem bless you.